Apple recruits Nike Fuel Band designer to help them build wearable hardware. Google is hard at work at letting you share your smartphone content with larger displays. And HTC and Beats by Dre file their final divorce. I'm Jaime Rivera. And please, companies, come on, no drama. This is Friday. Can't you see I'm busy? This is Pocket Now Daily. If you were waiting for official news today, come on, spare me. This is Friday, and I do not want to talk about the $1 billion losses that BlackBerry just filed in their conference call because of the BlackBerry Z10 and their whole BlackBerry 10 project. But fine, I'm going to leave the sad news at the beginning because HTC as well has just confirmed that they have now divorced officially from Beats by Dre. Or I should say the other way around is Beats by Dre has actually bought their shares that HTC had on the company. And this now brings the question if we are still going to get Beats audio on the next versions of the HTC smartphones of any, or if this is just not allowing Beats to not be exclusive to HTC on smartphones. So stay tuned. Let's see how that goes. Now let's talk about some rumors as Nokia has just filed a new patent that brings hovering touch controls to their future smartphone lineup. And yes, this is expected. I mean, if the company is now owned by Microsoft, we do expect some more innovation to come from them as they figured out how to do the touch controls with gloves and everything else. This pretty much works already on the Galaxy S4 and Galaxy Note 3. So obviously this is a piece of cake. Let's see when Nokia figures this out because obviously patents are patents. They take time. And if you thought QR codes were dead, well, think again, as Google is now using them once again with their new open project in order to allow you to share your smartphone display with a bigger screen. And listen to this. I mean, I'm talking about any screen, absolutely any screen, as long as it can run a browser, meaning all you have to do is scan the QR code with your camera and it'll share your display with the other display, which is fine. That's cool. But even cooler is the fact that you can actually control the device from the display, meaning you can control it with your mouse, with your keyboard, and if it has touch controls, you can actually control it with the touch controls of the display and your smartphone can be in your pocket so you can share photos and pretty much do anything you want with your smartphone without pulling it out of your pocket except for the QR code scanning. Now, obviously, this is an open project still. It'll take some time, but it works really good on the video. Let's see when we get it. Now let's talk about some good and bad news when it comes to the iPad because, well, we've got some leaked specifications of the iPad 5. And as it turns out, it'll be apparently thinner and lighter than we were expecting. We were expecting a 7.9 millimeter thick iPad as per leaks in June. And as it turns out, it'll be 7.5 millimeters thick. And trust me, trust me, when it comes to tablets, the thinner and the lighter, the better. But now let's talk about the bad news as we've got some leaked photos of the iPad mini in gold and with Touch ID. And if you're looking at me wrong as of what's wrong with that? Well, the problem with this leak is that this iPad mini does not have a retina display. So for those of you that were planning on getting an iPad mini now because you were expecting a retina display, trust me, whenever you hear new colors or new features, trust me, you're not getting the ones you want. And finally, for the both funny and cool news of the day, Apple has just launched iOS 7.0.2 to the iPhone to deal with the security issues on the lock screen. And forget about them. It's already been proven that it can be hacked as well. But anyways, on the cool side, Apple has just hired Ben Schaefer from Nike. And the reason why this is cool is because this is the guy that created the Nike Fuel Band. So think about this. The M7 co-processor from the iPhone 5S, and think of the whole concept of the iWatch. Could it be that Apple is taking the whole iWatch concept into a fitness thing as people actually use the iPod Nano years ago as a watch and everything. But anyways, that leads me to the question of the day. Do you feel that fitness is the best direction that Apple should orient the iWatch? Do you feel that that's the problem they want to solve? In my particular case, I feel that it would be awesome, it would be cool, but then again, there are a lot of competitors there. They've got Garmin, they've got Nike, obviously, so it's gonna be a tough concept unless Apple makes this a no-brainer somehow. So leave us a comment down below, what do you think? Friends, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and top world machine, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow as we've got the Pocket Now Daily Recap to go through your comments.